Now for the masterpiece. You have something to feed the bolt back into the tensioner. In goes the new tensioner. Oh yeah. Good morning everyone. Glorious Saturday morning out there. And welcome back to another video. This is a video on the T5.1 van project. Now it's a short one, short and sweet, and I will be today changing the auxiliary belt and auxiliary belt tensioner. There's a little bit of play in the auxiliary belt tensioner and it started making a bit of a rattle. So yeah, the best course of action I think is just to swap the entire unit out. You can just unbolt the pulleys, so you're replacing the bearing and pulley in situ, um, but eventually the tensioner springs can shatter and fail on these vans. So it's best to try and change the whole unit. However, um, as I've come to learn quickly, the tensioner is bolted in from the back. So the actual unit has a bolt going through the back. And I'm gonna show you a little trick today in terms of how to get it off um, because it took me a good couple of hours until I had a light bulb moment. Um, but let me take you through the job. So here's the five essential parts to this job. There is a sixth, but we'll bring that in in a bit. And that's the, that's the key really, the key part to succeeding at this job. Obviously you need a new tensioner. Recommend doing the belt. You're gonna take the old belt off to change the tensioner. Might as well stick a new one on. I've got a long spanner here, a long spanner that has actually been cut down. A long spanner is too long and a short spanner is too short. So initially I tried using a ratchet spanner. 13 mil on the nut and I just didn't have enough wiggle room. I thought, okay, go with a, small, a smaller ratchet spanner. Again, 13 mil, put it on the nut, but I can't get it all the way up there with my fingers on the end. Um, it's just, just not gonna work. So long fixed spanner, cut down. This is the perfect length to clear the chassis. That will take the torque off of the bolt. And then I thought with that off, I would go for, again, not too long, but not too short, a ratchet spanner with a little bit of flex, a stubby so socket, a stubby socket. This is a socket that I've cut down. Okay, so you can see I've grinded that off because the gap between the engine mount and the bolt head is really small. And then I've put a pick tool, taped it on, and this gives me something long to wield. The problem though is, if your ratchet's like mine, there's not enough tension on the bolt. So the ratchet will turn the bolt and then you move the ratchet up. It doesn't click, it just does the bolt back up. You know, there's not enough tension to make the ratchet mechanism click. So you could get a flathead screwdriver and you could try pushing the bolt head. But actually this is one of two bits, which is the essential part to doing this job. So if I just take your eyes over to here, We've got some wire, some cable. Now, bearing in mind, you take the bolt head, you take the torque off the bolt head. If you can get some cable around the bolt head, which I've managed to do, you can then pull the cable down and that will undo the bolt head and your tensioner should come out. And what's nice about that is you can leave the cable in situ, leave that on the bolt, because when you put the new tensioner in, you can then pull the cable the other way and that should start to bite on the thread and that should start to wind the bolt in. So for context, let me show you what I mean on this. Right, so under the van, tension has been slotted in and all I have to do now is carefully pull on the cable and that will start turning the bolt clockwise, hopefully mating with the tensioner. Um, it's probably good to give the tensioner a bit of a wiggle when you're doing this. Obviously you need three hands for that job. So uh, yeah, just get creative. But yeah, if the bolt can start to feed its way in, um, you'll be able to get the bolt most of the way with the cable. So let's give that a go. Okay, so to guide the wire now onto the head of the bolt, it's on the thread of the bolt, so you've got to kind of hook it round. Um, I would suggest using this flathead screwdriver. Well, not this one, this is my one. And this one is a tool that I've had for many years and I put some cuts into it. Um, those cuts are really handy for all sorts of jobs like this. You can poke it into a cable tie, twist it, and it will snap the cable tie. It's just a really handy long screwdriver. So we're going to use this.
Okay, so there we have it. The bolt is now two thirds of the way in. Um, if you were trying this with a spanner, it would be, I think, a lot more difficult to get the bolt started into the tensioner. The wire method, you just give it a real strong tug with tension on both sides of the wire and that bolt will just spin beautifully into the tensioner. So really pleased with that. I can now get the wire over the head to kind of finish it off and then I will talk it up with my modified spanner. So with the wire method now complete, it helps if you've got a spanner cut down with a slightly deep dish head you can see up there. And that will go over the bolt and we can do the final torque. If you tried to do the bolt up with just the spanner, you would honestly be here, I reckon about an hour and a half. Tiny little turns at this point. Another win for the long grooved screwdriver. You can just push it up like that on the spanner, just to give you a bit more purchase. And that should be torqued up now. Worth mentioning, when I unbolted the aircon pump, I cable tied it here. So it just pushes the aircon pump back about an inch and a half and it just enables you to get your hand in here, but you, you really don't have much room at all. You have no room if the aircon pump is bolted in. So just unbolt it with the four retaining bolts, sorry, three, and then that should just allow you to push it back a bit, cable tight here, it just pushes it that way. It gives you just a little bit more wiggle room, but your hand can also get round here, but again, it's so tight. Anyway, let's take the cable ties off here, bolt that back on and try and get the belt on next. Last job with the aircon pump on is to get this serpentine belt fed round. Top tip, take the cardboard off, warm the belt up. If you warm the belt up, it's a lot more flexible and it can sort of scoop round all the little bits and bobs that it needs to, because it's a very long belt. It needs to run all of the ancillaries. Um, so let's warm it up. If like me, you're quite risk averse, keep the old belt. Take the tensioner locking tool, take that to that. You could even take the old pulley bearing and retaining bolt, take that to that, put that in your van, and then you've got everything that you could do to change the belt on the side of the road. Or if for whatever reason the bearing collapsed, you've got the old bearing that you can just unbolt. You wouldn't need to change the tensioner. This is like a get me home. So use that as a bit of a kit to get you home. Chuck the old tensioner and away you go. We have it, new belt is on, see the new tensioner. And top tip, if you ever wanna take tension off of the tensioner, you grab the belt and you pull it down and that moves the tensioner and then you can lock it. Obviously with a brand new tensioner, it's got a lot more tension on the belt, so it's a lot harder to do. But when these tensioners wear and you need to do the belt, you can just pull this down and lock it with the little key that we saw earlier. Okay, so there we have it. The belt tensioner and new belt has now been changed. I hope the video has helped. If you've got the 2 litre TDI in the Volkswagen Transporter, uh, to me, this is the best technique now. So just remember, cut down a long 13mm spanner, cut little grooves into a long flathead screwdriver and get some wire, basically. Um, yeah, the rest is kind of up to your ingenuity. Um, oh, don't forget, unbolt that air conditioning pump and cable tie it out of the way just to give you that extra inch and a half. So I hope you've enjoyed watching the video. I hope it has helped you out. That's the key for this video. And I hope to see you next time. So thank you very much for watching. And yeah, have a great weekend. Bye.